Hey everybody, welcome back to Tin Plated. I'm Sean. I'm Rob, and we're hunting demons. Woohoo! Like you do. Yep. But uh, yeah, you know, those of you that remember, we're here in the asylum. Um, just you know, it's old home week. We're back on our on our stomping grounds, and apparently there was a basement to this shithole. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we're pretty sure we got something vaguely approaching a strategy. Uh, which is basically going to come down to stay behind him. It's as close to a strategy as we ever get. It's not particularly nuanced, but now, now I'm thinking if I just fucking get up there. Ah, oh, but there's ooh. that shockwave ahead. Yeah, I didn't quite get all the way behind him. Oh, shit. That, oh. that demon wave thing he does, that's yeah. some shit. And ooh. you know... And, you Got know, it's something you see in video games, but you would think a game like this would be better than just a, a, a pointless area attack that you can't dodge. That, that butt splash can cause some trouble. Yeah. And he does not... Oh, shit. Wow. What the fuck? God, that's a range on that fucking thing. Yeah. I don't understand why he's hiding in the basement. And the asylum demons, the one guarding this place. Well, maybe this the whole damn thing from the setup in the asylum to all the bird. Maybe that whole fucking thing was just to see if we truly are the chosen undead. Yeah, maybe. Well, shit, that blew my flask out. Thank God you've been hitting it. <laughs> no, it's business. Ah, God damn. Um. For those of you that might be joining us here recently, um, Sean has that flask, and I have this horn full of liquor. It's a lovely horn. And anytime he drinks from it, I drink from this. And see, that gives me something to do and keep me entertained. But also, I started it originally in the hopes that people watching us could play a drinking game at home and drink along with us and really make it into a party. Uh, I did swap in something that we had talked about earlier. Oh, and yeah? that was bringing the pyromancy to see if that's going to help. There you go. But I'm thinking about bringing another... Maybe trying one of the other shields. Maybe. Or... Now, how does the dragon tooth's damage compare with what we're swinging? Because, you know, you don't really get a chance to use your shield. So I, taking... Actually, I usually do. Do you? Yeah, yeah. If I'm able to get that shield up in time, it sucks up most of the brunt of it. But I was spending more time moving than shielding. And I think I need to go back to that because it worked better. How much weight do we have that we can... Oof, not much. Exactly. Well, I mean, I was just thinking a, a two-handed wield on the tooth... Damn, that's it. ...combined with, you know, staying moving, staying behind him. Why are there weapons in the shield slot? Oh, because you can put a... Remember, you can dual wield weapons. So, can we... Wait a minute. Oh! We can bring the talisman and the pyro flame. We only have one attunement slot, so it's useless right now, but that's going to come in handy later. Yeah, but no, you if you wanted, you could have two weapons out. Huh. Okay. A well. great club in one hand, an iron scrotum in the other. <laughs> okay, so let me swatch to the... Uh, um... Probably the fireball, right? Uh, yeah, that's the one that gives you some distance. Am yeah. I right? Yeah. Yeah, the others are, are just sort of right up in front. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's try that. Oh. Yeah, because I mean, you really don't have time to use a miracle anyway. Yeah. Because if you do, he's just going to use that shock wave, and you're done. Yep. So. All right. Well, let's. One downside is not being able to heal that little scratch before I go in, but. Eh. I don't think that'll be a game changer. No plan is perfect. Not quite that much range. Or as a demon, he's fireproof. Uh, no, I didn't even hit him. Shit. Okay, I think falling back to begin with isn't going to work. No. The thing we got to remember is his range is... The, the lion's share of that room. Yeah. 
If you're in it, there's a better than not chance that he can hit you. I've got to just, like, as soon as I fall, run straight at him. I think that'll... And, and if, again, if we're preaching a aggression first strategy, the dual wheel, or the two-handed great tooth there, dragon tooth. Well, there's a difference between leading strong and giving up the shield entirely. And I don't think, I don't think giving up the shield entirely is worth it. E even if just for the stamina. Well, no, I can still have it strapped to my back even if I'm dual wielding, but... Or you could just eat one of our green moss clumps and get the same stamina oh, region. Oh, shit. I'm thinking the lock-on might be screwing me a little. Maybe. As long as you're behind him, the wave won't hit. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Stay behind him. Yeah, you're gonna have to play the long game. Oh, shit. That fucking slam he does. Very little damage. Well, that's because I, I only caught the edge of it. Right. Or if he, you know, fucking lands on me. Oh, shit! It's not anywhere behind him. No, I he has be, like, two. right up. behind him. I think he has two. He has the one where he just kind of leans forward, and he has the other where he stabs his staff into the ground, and it's much bigger. See? Yeah. Shit. So he has a shockwave and then a big shock. That's problematic. Oh yeah, this, this whole system's broken. Drink. Shit. Get the shield up. Didn't make it. Holy crap. Woo! Damn, that was close. Oh! For those God. of you wondering, Still trying to work my way through this brandy. I gotta stay fucking dead behind him. Damn! That's a good choice of words. He spins so fucking fast. Which is weird from looking at him. I didn't even have a chance to get a good opportunity to try the fireball on him. Damn. <sighs> Nope. Fuck's the other guy? There he is. Okay, well, no damage that time. Huh? That's While nice. we've got a second before he engages the oh, team, shit. just a quick reminder, anybody interested, uh, pop on over to our Facebook page, you know, like us. Uh, we got some stuff over there that you can't get here on our YouTube. Uh, working on that. Oh, no, no, no. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. Oh! So there you go. As the social media guy, that's my obligatory plug. Now Sean. 101. Now Sean will stop hitting me while I try to take a nap. Okay, let me try. I mean, 100 damage ain't bad. If it had more of a range, I'd be real happy with it. Yeah, because you really only have time for one attack anyway. Oh. So what do I do when that shockwave comes? Um, Since that one does go behind it. Buckle the fuck up would be my guess. I don't... It do, It looks like maybe if you were standing in his ass crack, you might... No? Hmm. Oh! God damn, Jesus. that axe! Shit! Uh, Not a bad run, though, and I noticed you were dual-wielding the club. Yeah, I was giving it a try. It's, It sucks not being able to get the shield up at all. But uh, I'm going to try... Uh, try the tooth! I'm going to try the tooth. It, I mean, what are you going to do, die? First time for everything, right? Fuck. Which, you know, that we... There are some... Uh, some people doing let's plays of this that are so far into this game and having never died. That shit mystifies me. Yeah. There are but, people who do single death runs, level one runs. I'm sure someone's done a level one no death run. I'm sure. I don't. Y you know, I like video games as much as the next guy. I'm more of a story driven kind of guy than anything else, but goddamn. <laughs> 
If you can get through this and not die, you have an obsession. Oh, damn. Getting behind him is so fucking hard. That's what he said. 53 from a regular. Oh, God. Now he's got to do that fucking flying thing. And I can get behind him. 371. Oh. Yeah, there's... N Maybe the great shockwave if you're as far away from him as possible. That's... That's requiring me to move around a lot. Yeah. And that's... That speed I just don't have. God damn it! <sighs> just, there's so much of him. Yeah. All right. Um, Looking at it, I mean, you were doing 353 and 370. Dual wielding your club was giving you the same results. So. Well, dual wielding, the, if I'm dual wielding something, I may as well take this. True. The, the only advantage the club offers me is letting me use the shield. Right. And I mean, I. It's an option. We could try the shield again, but for now, I don't. Not quite. Not quite done giving this one a try. This might come down to more strategy than we're used to, as far as watching his tells. Like knowing when it's time to get up in his ass crack and when it's time to get the fuck out. Okay, so is that going to be the, the big one? Uh, no. Okay, that's the one that's just yeah. in front. So that's when he raises up high. Yeah. It's when he turns his spear upside down and stabs it straight down that he does the giant one. I think that was the stab straight down. That was the swipe forward. So that's going to have a forward burst. Yep. Yeah, that's the and forward burst. And when he burst. stabs it straight down, it bursts out. Yeah. Oh! Ooh, that was close. Yeah, solid. Stay behind him. Damn it. Did you ever play Metroid? I have. Yeah, so that that's definitely the one that goes in all directions. But yes, I've played Metroid. The big uh, four-eyed dinosaur-looking thing that you fight. You know who I'm talking about? I think his name starts with a K. Ah, uh, God, no. I, I don't remember. Oh. Um, he's part of a level on Super Smash Brothers. I know that. But this guy kind of looks like him. Uh, Ridley? No, Ridley's the uh, flying one. Yeah. Let's say this guy's name was Kroll, but I have no idea why I think that. I'm sure somebody will tell us the answer in the comments. I would assume so. Say this. God damn. We have very knowledgeable fans. That's true. Oh, shit. Oh, that's the big one. Yeah. I couldn't get out of the way. Okay, if I'm going to be exploiting tells, I need something quicker. I, I can't be dual, dual handing these giant fucking things if I'm trying to exploit little weaknesses. Uh, maybe that crystal halberd to poke, poke, poke. I wonder if an elemental effect would have uh, uh, maybe the lightning spear. Fuck it. Let's try it. Let me check the moveset real quick. Poke. Poke. That's a longer poke. All right, so that's that. Okay. Maybe. All right. And okay. Hmm. Okay. Give it a try. A little bit of lightning. A little bit of lightning. Bring the thunder. So it's comparable damage, at least, to these guys. I mean, I don't know what his resists are. Yeah. Which is not bad for it not being anything other than lightning. Just a basic, unupgraded spear. Well, I think all the elementals count as, you know, the plus six. Like, our axe was plus five before we made it divine. Ah, I think I think so? this would be a spear that was plus five before it got lightninged. Swipe needs to get behind him. Did not manage to do it. Drink. He's going to fly and do a butt drop. Got poked a little. Big one. 
is. You survived. Okay, what's he doing now? Swipe, get behind him. Oh, missed him. He's gonna do the butt drop. All right, he nicked you, but... Oh, God, I can't fucking hit him. I keep missing. Shit, the big one. And he's kind of a big target. It's just a matter of if I keep poking under his ass. Right. That was 69 with an R1. 187. Yeah, you aren't getting an advantage from the lightning. No. And it's not so much quicker that it's going to be a game changer in and of itself. I think it's time to go back to the club. It's just too slow for me to be exploiting openings like that. I need something that's strong but quick, and that sure as shit isn't our divine axe. No, not our two, not the tooth, just the wooden club. I, I don't even know if that's going to be fast enough. I'll, I'll go back to it, but... Oh, that's the big one. I mean, I feel like at some point a little bit of consistency and a whole lot of luck is all we can hope for. Actually, you know, I may not be getting much off the wing, but I got three pokes in real quick. That's true. That's the big one. Get away! All right, you did it. Good. Okay, I think... All right, I think the spear might be the way to go, even if it's not the the biggest, fastest. Well, if not the spear necessarily, one of its its ilk, the crystal halberd or the yeah. Giants. Is that the big one? Yep. Yep. Jump! Okay, good. Oh, missed! Big one? Yep. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit! Quick to see what he's about to do. God, I wish the camera would sort of stay upwards. Big one. I miss the days of when all you had to do was hit a boss three times on whatever body part was glowing. Yeah, those were simpler days. Now, Where true. All you had to do was drink your oval team. True, maybe you had to throw a bomb into his nose and then hit him in the uh, uvula with a boomerang and then cut him on his glowing red a forehead eye. But you only had to do it three times. That's true. Oh, get out of the way. Oh! Woo! That one got close. Actually, I think we've done more to him this time than we have before. Uh, this would be around equal to your best run. You had one time when you really laid into him with the uh, wooden club and did okay. It, it's really the pattern record. Oh, I keep going under him. Yeah. An overhead strike would yeah, be fast. Something that's overhead but fast would be super. Oh. Even a side swing would be would be great, because then I could concentrate on his ankles, and that wouldn't be so bad. Hey, you reckon bleed damage would do anything to him? The Uchi Katana? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, wow. Uh, we haven't upgraded that thing at all. No, but just the thought is it would be a long-term wheedle him down damage. So, oh, shit, even when you're like this, where you're not necessarily getting hits in on him, yeah. he'd still be sitting there leaking blood. Oh, that one was scary. Yeah. This is good. Okay, here big comes one. the big one. It's bigger all around, but I think its range is less. Yeah. God, I hope we get this spear of his. Big one. Oh, we want a range. You made it. I get out of the range again. Oh, God, I caught his tail. Oh, you made it. Oh, yeah. Damn it. He's going for the big one again. What was that noise? That was a noise of uh, excited trepidation. He sounded like Goofy getting his dick sucked. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. You ever hear that wave from, like, the late 90s internet of uh, the guy doing an impression of uh, Donald Duck getting a blowjob? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I uh, uh, I knew a guy in high school that had that as his text message tone. And there's the difference in our ages right now. Uh, when I was in high school, there were no text message tones. Fuck! It's a good run. Well, now, granted, I didn't have a cell phone until I was 16. 
And think... even then, it was like a shitty track phone. Damn it. Hell, I didn't get a smartphone till a couple of years ago. All right, what else are we thinking? Well, the Crystal Halberd, similar in move set with a little more straight up damage. Obviously, the comparable great, to the club. Obviously, the great club's an option. I I just need a little more speed than it's offering me. Damn that Black Knight sword! I didn't realize how fucking crazy that is. Maybe give that a roll. I don't think it's a Holy huge weapon. Holy shit! Our dex isn't high enough. Damn. Is it not? No. See, it needs an eighteen. What's our dex? Uh, 17. Well, fuck us. That does look like a nice weapon, though. Now, the Uchi Katana, you just not feeling that, or? I I want to try a spear because I got used to a spear in that last. It did me okay. That was 558, by the way. Yes, it was. Yeah. Well, and that makes sense. Only issue here is this thing will, is delicate. Yeah. Um. I'm not going to feel too bad if it breaks. I'll... I'll I'll live. You know, we only pull it out when shit gets real, and so far it has yet to disappoint. Yep. Now, I believe someone left us a comment a while back saying you repair crystal weapons by upgrading them. Yeah. Which gives them a limited number of repairs, but eh. But makes them tougher with each time. Oh, shit. I vote the crystal halberd be at the top of that list of crystal weapons. Yeah, the crystal greatsword just wasn't it was a piece of shit. 201 with a poke. That was that was the R1, the nice, light attack. That's, nice. That and is... And you could probably get a couple of those in. That 237, R2. not worth it. Yeah. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yep, I'm out of there. I think, it, yeah, it was just the butt drop. Big one. Yeah, there you go. That was 400. That yeah, was clean. Yeah, this, this is helping. Oh, only getting one poke this time. Yeah, I think it's going to be a butt drop. Yep. If he goes up, it's a butt drop. I went with the uh, R2 because I wasn't sure I could quite get in the range. Didn't want to miss. Yeah. So I'd rather go with one hit that I was sure was going to connect than go uh, for the two. He's doing miss. it again. He's doing yep. it again. Yes. Oh. Fuck! Got out of it. Okay, you got right under it. Good. Oh, shit. With the tail whip. No, he swung the weapon back. Shit. All right, get in the corner. Yep. Have a drink. Okay, I think we're figuring him out. I think we're figuring him out. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. another big one? Nope, that was a swipe. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Fuck! That swipe don't play. Ah. Uh. All right, I want, I want to try the halberd again. It, it's doing good. Do we have shards on us? Yes, we have shards on us. Can, can we upgrade it real quick? I don't know if we can. That might be something that we have to. Oh, uh, go to Andre 4. I mean, I'll look. Uh, One chunk, 200. Oh, fuck, we can do it. Why don't you go gather 200 souls? All right. Uh, poke. That'd be these two guys. Oh! Stop dodging, bastard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's clean. Do, 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 do. What's it take? Chunks? Ah, chunks aren't that hard to come by. As a matter of fact, I think the giant blacksmith sells them. Uh huh. Or he sells the thing that the dick snake will. Break into, into chunks, yeah. yeah. So either way, chunks are a renewable resource. All right, so we got a plus one crystal halberd of stabbing and swinging and otherwise spear poking. It's quick. It's strong. I just, it's, it's nice. It's nice to have. My college advisor would be so pissed at me. He was a classics professor. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what the word for the first spear in a legion was. Oh. Uh... God. If I could just remember what their word for spear was, I'd have it. But not not sputum. No. That was. It starts with a P. It was... It's not phalanx. That's the formation. 
Yeah, it starts with a P. Uh, it, and the P sound, I should say. It's Primus huh. something. Anyway, I don't know. Oh! When you were naming stuff off about it, it made me think of that. And it made me, made me realize how... Well, the P is probably Primus then. Yeah. Prim... Pylum, maybe? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Prim Primum Pylum? I think Pylum is the word for spear. Yeah. You know, we've, we've got a fan that knows Latin and is like, Oh, God, you guys, come on. I mean, my degree is in history. I am better than this. And my advisor was a, you know, Ivy League trained classic historian. I'm just a disappointment. Uh, I don't have to know things. I'm a physicist. Great secret of physicists. We're just mathematicians who can't figure it out if there's no real world application. The physicist hit squads on their way to silence him for that. Well, my, my, my physics advisor told me that. He said, the difference between a physicist and a mathematician is we don't like bothering with math unless it does something. I can hear the missiles coming in now. Oh, how did I dodge that? I have no idea. Oh! Don't get fancy! Not trying to. Oh shit, big one! No, don't roll! Run! Yes! Oh. That's what that should look like. Oh, he dodged. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. He's going for the big one. Yep. Get the fuck out! Glug. I feel really bad for you. I get the feeling there aren't going to be many more parts filmed tonight. Not unless you want me doing them naked. Ah, damn it! He just keeps doing that one. Fuck, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Nope. Yep. Fuck! God! If I had some humanity to get more in the flask, that would help a whole shitload. You really get mileage out of the word fuck, you know that? Yeah. It's a very versatile word. I had a high school um, rugby coach that was also an English teacher. And he, he said he found fuck to be the single most useful word in the English language because you could make a whole sentence effectively using just it. You kind of look at him and go, why is a teacher saying fuck so much? And he would take that to mean you wanted a, a demonstration. Mm -hmm. And he would go, well, fuck the fucking fuckers. Fuck you, you fucking fuckers. Yeah. That even gets another one in and makes it more, you know, directed. Yeah. So, and, and you just go, holy shit. Ah, oh, shit. How the fuck did I not get out of range that time? That was bullshit. Can you go through that white light and skip this guy? Can't. Did we try that already? Yeah. Fog gates on a boss are to trap you in, not to... Uh... And there he goes with his fucking pull up, and I didn't get out of the way. Oh, I yeah, did. did. Oh, yeah. shit. The range is not great on it. Hell, if you get him in this cycle for a minute. He has so many horns. Yeah. He's a very horny demon. Da <laughs> 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 dunch. He'll be here all week, folks. Tip your service. Try the roast beef. Fuck! Oh, I missed. Oh. Damn it! Fuck! Oh my god! That's some bullshit! Come on! God damn it! Fucking 270 degree arc bullshit! Oh! Oh, now he's gonna go do an ass slam. God damn it! Thank God the flask is empty.
Ah! Fuck! Ah, oh, god damn it! Oh, that was rough. Oh, that was... It was clean, though. Such bullshit. He caught you straight and honest, but god, that was brutal. All right. We're going to give it one more try. You've and if uh, we're still at it. We're going to take a break cuz we've been at this for almost half a goddamn hour. You've mountain mildewed up. You uh ready to go? <sighs> My fingers starting to hurt. That's what she said. That's what he said, but he's a very courteous lover. I was thinking lesbians, but way to be a homophobe. Well, if we're being honest, I think about lesbians an awful lot. Which all but strictly gay men seem to do. Yeah, I could see that. Even straight girls. It's sort of like the, uh, the universality of boobs. I right. don't care if you're straight, gay, bi, male, female, a a anywhere on the, the gender and sexuality spectrum, you like boobs. You do. I do. Perhaps in a decorative sense. Perhaps in a sexual sense. Perhaps just because they bounce and make you giggle. But everyone, everyone on this beautiful earth of ours loves boobs. They're the great unifier. No, but what about people who are like, like dudes who are ass men, you know? Well, even then, they're still like, oh, boobs are nice. I'm not saying they think it's the best thing in the world. I'm not saying everybody's turned on by them or that everybody's really attracted to women. Just boobs are great in all, all walks of life. Except like if you got big boobs and you run a lot, then they kind of suck. But you still appreciate them. See, I feel like the lesson to be gleaned from this is nobody likes flat chicks. No, no, no. They have boobs. Yeah, they they don't have count. small boobs. And nobody likes small boobs. Of course, plenty of people like small boobs. I appreciate a small boob. Nothing wrong with them. Some people like to have a battery hooked up to their nut sack and get the shit shocked out of them. It doesn't make those people normal or right. But you said nobody likes small boobs. Lots of people do. Hell, there's entire categories on porn sites for it. And I'm sure there's some porn sites that have nut sack zapping. I don't know about specifically to the nutsack, but I imagine uh, electro, genital torture. I imagine those could have their own category. Oh, shit. How did I get out of the range of that? That's right, guys. Uh, combat with demons and uh, talk about obscure sexual fetishes. All right. Well, the, uh, the horn's getting close to dry, and chili Sean made earlier is giving me some wicked heartburn. So we're going to take a minute. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.